and welcome back for another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at a greater than Sudoku by Clover. Um, normal Sudoku rules apply. Greater than symbols between two cells indicate which of the two digits is larger. I would like to uh, tell you right now, I'm operating off of a uh, draft tested version, so I've just given it this title and this rules. Uh, the rules and title that you may see may differ. This is just me working in advance. Uh, sometimes you go on school camps and you need to plan ahead. Um, but uh, let's take a look at the puzzle. Now, uh, for those of you who are already subscribed to the channel, you may have seen um, a video Clover did a little while back, which was about how greater than uh, and inequality Sudokus in general tend to be one of the more cursed variants. Now, this is a gorgeous puzzle. I adore this puzzle. This is one of my favorite puzzles in a very long time. Um, and I very heavily advocated for us to post this one because it's, it's incredible. Uh, but it's also a bit tricky. But that's the thing we try to do here at Gas. If you're new to Gas, most of the time we try and do, like, you know, genuinely approachable Sudokus, uh, variant Sudokus created by Clover, who made this one. Me, Bill Murphy. Well, sometimes Philip Newman is also around. Um, and, uh, but, you know, occasionally we like to give people a little bit more of a spicy experience. Um, so that's what this one will hopefully do for you today. Um, it is great. Uh, I hope I can do this one justice. Um, so let's get into it. So uh, as someone who's currently teaching inequalities to my... Uh, kids at school, uh, a greater than symbol has the little crocodile jaws. So, uh, whatever the crocodile disengages its jaw to swallow the bigger number. So, if you see a little thing between two cells, it means this one is bigger because it's got the little crocodile jaw disengaged. This one's the smaller number. Um, and if you have two consecutive cells with things, it must be this one's the biggest, followed by that one, followed by that one. All right. Cool, let's get into it. Now, uh, what number is greater than eight? Nine. What number is greater than seven, but not eight? Uh, but not nine? Eight. What number is greater than six, but not seven, uh, but not eight or nine? Must be seven. What's this one? Uh, needs to be greater than four, but can't, uh, but this cell sees six, seven, eight, and nine. So this must be five. Uh, and similarly, this one needs to be greater than three, but it sees five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So it must be four. Now, uh, these cells need to be 1, 2, 3, and 9. These ones can't have 3. Now, uh, this needs to be 9, because if this was 2, then this would need to be 1 and then 0, which doesn't quite work in Sudoku. Um, so this is 9, uh, and then we take that out. Uh, this one can't be 1, this one can't be 3. Take the 9 out of there. 1, 2, meaning this must be 3. Cool. That's a pretty good style. Now, Two is greater than what number? Must be one. Three is greater than what number but can't be one? Must be two. Uh, four is greater than what number? Well, it can't be one or two, so it must be three. Six is greater than what number? Can't be one, two, three, and four, so it must be five. Seven is greater than what number? Can't be one, two, five, three, or four, so it must be six. Now, I need to put one, seven, eight, and nine in this box. Can't put a seven in here. So, uh, this number can't be one. Uh, this can't be 1 or 9, and this can't be 9 or 8. Cool. Now, when I was uh, looking at this puzzle for the first time, uh, I took a minute to spot this, but this is something in Sudoku we call roping. What do I mean by roping? Well, these digits have to be 7, 8, 9, and these have to be 1, 2, and 3. Now, these... Can't be one, two, three, or seven, eight, nine. So there must be four, five, and six. I'm gonna put four, five, and six in there. Yes, I know I can put digits in there. I will do uh oh, I hate that red. Let's do yellow. Yellow is a nice color. Now I have to place one, two, three, four, five, six. So this has to be seven, eight, and nine. I've already highlighted that highlighted those green. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let's come up here. These digits can't be one, two, three, or seven, eight, nine. So they must be four, five, and six. I'm going to put those. Yes, I know I can put the six in. We'll get to that. Now, those digits can't be one, two, three, or uh, they can't be four, five, six, or seven, eight, nine. So there must be one, two, three. I'm going to highlight that. Now, 
we can use this knowledge to just sort of color in the rest of this with roping. So I'm going to do that. Now, uh, I will also, uh, so this is 789, this is 789, this is 456, and this is 123. Now, let's put in those digits that I said I was going to. So this is 6, uh, this can't be 3, uh, this can't be 3, this can't be 4, can't be 6 or 7. And this is 4, so I'll get that out of there. Cool. All right. Now, uh, what's this cell? Uh, well, this can't be one, and then uh, this needs to be either one or two because that's the only way that you can have a digit less than three. Um, what's this cell? Well, it can't be nine because I can't have a ten and a so so this must be eight or nine. Now, uh, uh, what else did I have to do? I don't know. Why are you asking me? It's late. Uh, this is seven, eight, or nine. Um, uh, what is this? This needs to be, well, uh, three or nine there. Uh, ba -ba -ba. all right. Oh, yes. No, nah, it's fine. I caught up. All right. Uh, three and four here. Three and four are the, are in my column one and column two. So I need to put a three and a four down here in box three. Uh, three can only go here. So that's three. This is one and two. Uh, and now I need to put a four in there. So this is my four. Uh, this is now five and nine. Uh, now, if I come over here, I don't yet know where my seven goes, but I can do the same trick here. This is six and seven. Um, where do I put seven? Well, seven has to go there. And then I need to put six in somewhere. So six has to go there. Now, this digit needs to be less than seven. So it's either one or five because that's the only place I can put those digits in, because uh, this one already sees two, three, four. Um, all right, what else have I got? Um, ba -ba -ba. Sorry, my apologies. Oh, one, two pair, this is three. Three out of there. Um, one, two, four, five. Ah, mm, 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 mm. Uh, this is one, two, and three. Uh, once again, this cannot be one, so this needs to be one and two. Um, now, where do I put? Oh, it's not four or five. Um, hang on. Oh, I'm having a moment. God, I'm getting old. Okay, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, yeah, five, um, no, I'm not going to my house just yet. <sighs> Uh, what a comma. Okay, one, two, three. So this is four, five, eight, and nine. This can't be nine. Uh, this cannot be eight either because this digit can't have a nine on it. So this is four or five. Uh, this needs to be one, two, four, or five. Now, uh, this can't have a five, but more importantly, this digit needs to be greater than at, at least greater than four. So the only way this can work is if this is five, this is four. Uh, five, four, four out of there, five out of there, four down here. Uh, I have a one, two pair here, meaning that this needs to be three. Uh, and then my one here, my one, two pair here makes this seven, eight, nine. I can now do some damage here, down here. Uh, nine and eight. Two, one, two, nine, one. Oh yeah, I'm just, I, I don't wanna say I'm cleaning up just yet. Um, but you know, I'm, this is working, this is working. Um, five, six, five. Now this needs to be one and six. Uh, this is two, eight, and nine. Nine out of there. Put a one down here. Uh, three, eight, and four. Seven, eight, nine. Five and four. Two, one, two, three. All right. Now this needs to be five or eight. Because this is eight, this needs to be a nine. Five, eight, nine, two, eight. Seven and unbelievably, despite the 
amazing lack of information. We are going to finish this off. This has been a Greater Than Sudoku by Clover. I have been Bill. It has been an absolute pleasure to meet you. I hope wherever you are, you have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, uh, brunch, breakfast, whatever. Whatever your time zone is. Have a lovely day. Um, and I will, well, one of my puzzles will be back tomorrow. I won't. But I will catch you on the flip side. Have a lovely night.